welcome to the second ever and the first good no fence join the first great JTT casting session I am eggshell I'm here with galactic and joint senses how are you guys doing today I'm doing all right you're doing just all right hey it was your first day of college yeah what it ever. was did you find someone to go to prom college prom with you I figured I'd just bring my girlfriend. All right, all right, that's that's, that's a bold move, my friend. All right, bold move. Joint, how are you, man? Oh, I'm doing excellent. I'm actually really looking forward to this second game here. This is a change of pace for you, Joint, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You're used to working solo. Yeah, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I got a lot of experience under the belt, and I'm not used to two other players with me, so. <laughs> see how this goes tonight. Hopefully we don't talk over each other too much. I sure yeah, I really don't want to talk over anyone. I'm I, I mean, do most of the I will here. be talking over you. <laughs> no. You'll be talking no, over who? Clean. This is going to be clean. Well, for those of you out there, I don't know what Galactic's showing you right now, but we are on Goalie Wash. This is Highlander. We have girls in dresses against... Fat Boys and Co. Fat Boys and Company. Um, guys, predictions? Who's gonna win? Uh, I'm gonna go with the girls in dresses tonight. You know, they're just. I love those dresses. They're so pretty. They just don't they definitely match those Fat Boys. Right. Galactic. Um, I'm gonna go with Fat Boys just because I don't know the team. We've played girls in dresses before as a team. We've beaten them. So, I'd like to see the other team do the same, I guess. So here's what little inside knowledge we have. This is a steel scrim. Uh, girls in dresses moving up to steel for the first time. I don't know how much experience fat boys have in steel. This could be their third season in steel. Uh, which would tip the scales in their favor. Um, so that wild card, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna go with fat boys just because, statistically, it seems more likely that they have more experience. I could be wrong. I'm going to go with Fat Boys tonight. The main thing I'm going to look for at the start is the rollout process of both teams. I really want to see which one has the, the strongest rollout. What do you like to see on a rollout on Gully Wash? I want to see the teams stick together and get to the point as soon as possible. The big thing to worry about there is separation. Separation will ruin a team at the start. You really got to work together. The soldiers need to stick with the scouts. Where do you like to see uh, where do you like to see the Sollies and Scouts going? Through Big Door, Bomb the Point, or, or where do you want to see? For Highlander, I would say going through the uh, the tunnels here, the Big Door would be the best option. And then everybody else maybe go choke. The uh, the small doors on the side there. It just seems to be a bit stronger. When, when I play this map as medic, I, I, I like to go big door. Do you? Um, well, okay. And I'll go big door with my heavy, and then from there, it's sort of wait and see what the other team is doing. Most of the time, what I do after that is then I go through elbow and go back to choke where it's a little safer. But okay. the option is then there to go to the right and loop right up. I think that's banana, actually, that I would go to go to choke, and then elbow goes up to their choke. Um, and the option is there. If you go, that's what I like about going big door on the rod. You're, you're not tied to just one thing. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That's a good point, especially since uh, if you go through Big Door, you have a whole lot of a better field of range. You can see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, sure. It looks like we are just waiting on one player from the Fat Boys. Tonight. I'm going with a shock top. That is my drink of choice. Shock tonight. top, the Belgian ale, the Belgian summer ale. I I'm like going it. with the uh, the honey bourbon cask wheat tonight. Yeah, actually. yeah, it's, I, it's pretty good. I've been known to drink a shock top or two during our matches. That's an excellent choice. I'm proud of you, man. You just uh, you want some brownie beer points in my book. You know, we'll have to discuss this sometime. Because <laughs> this is the shock top is that is my go-to social lubricant right there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it my go-to, um, but it's definitely in the rotation. Well, it's probably behind Jameson, but we're not going to talk about that. Right, right, right. 
I mean, my my go-to is, you know, Jack Daniels. You know, Southern Comfort. The cheapest fucking whiskey. I Getting can straight find. to the point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because let's call a spade a spade here. Why are you drinking? To uh, forget that you feel feelings. So, <laughs> let's just... To forget about that time your uncle's sister... <laughs> said that thing at that party and it was just really weird. And that was the time of the show that uh, I like to, I, I affectionately call the uh, the Elwood moment um, because it's the time I make a public service of announcement that we don't condone uh, any sort of rape or sexual misconduct of any sort. Um, May you rest in peace, just... Elwood. <laughs> particularly <laughs> particularly rapey 12 year olds. Both are a no-go. Well, he made a recommendation to me today that we expand that to 13-year-olds as well, because that, that can be a, a problem age. Very true. Uh, so, try th 12 and 13-year-olds, uh, don't get raped, and don't rape anyone. This message is sponsored by Fat Girls. <laughs> fat Girls in Dresses. I feel, like, I feel like we made the world a better place today, you guys. We always do. This is God's work. This is God's work. This message. Joy, tell me, have we uh, effectively cleared out the channel? Or do we have no viewers? Actually, we no. have a uh, we have a whopping 400 viewers right now. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know what's going on. There's anything like it. I got like 15 friend requests, and everybody's asking me for signatures. Yeah. No. <laughs> so uh, we actually have six viewers at the moment, and all six of them are me opening up five windows. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know what's going on. There's anything like it. I got like 15 friend requests, and everybody's asking me for signatures. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we actually have six viewers at the moment. Go NG. Medic? Yeah, so medic's no. there. Sniper. Looks like we're waiting on a sniper. Looks like it. I think he's too busy watching our stream. Most likely. So how was your first day, Galactic? Honestly, pretty boring. Um, uh, all one -on yeah, I went to the, the lab for my Java 110 class first thing, and the professor didn't show up, but we didn't get a prior notice. Oh, I see. believe we're going live. Seems like it. I'm watching Seki, the demo for girls in dresses right now, in this rollout. Alright, let's see what they do here. Bit of a slow rollout. rollout. Mid is so important. Red is uh, going big door, the fat boys. And Seki's sticking out their choke, which they, isn't going to do much. They just trade choke ends, which is always a dangerous thing to see. But blue seems very together at the red choke. Red? Whereas the fat boys seem sort of spread out and all over the place right now. They, did, they only lost two people, but then they kind of gave up the fight there. They, they only got two picks, and yet they gave up mid. They gave up the point. Girls in dresses looking real tight, real together, and they're already peeking through choke here. I did not get a chance to see the rollout on this one, did you? We have Uber Exchange at the uh, the red choke here, and it looks like red. Red with a better Uber pop. Bad boys, yes, yes. Blue heavy goes down. Blue Medic is left, but he's able to get out. He's able to get out cardboard, able to get out, but at what cost? It looks like Fat Boys, they need to be pushing the point here, don't they, Joint? Yeah, they do. They got the... What is it? The Fat Boys, they seem to be pushing up here. They got the, uh, the Scout and the Soldier on the point. You know, they had about an 8-4 advantage there, and they were doing nothing with it. They still don't have control of the point itself. And the result of that is girls in dresses have about a 15% Uber advantage right now. Girls in dresses are getting kind of aggressive on Red's choke to stuff and push. They are, they are, and now 
Oh, fat boys, just like that. They're getting picked left and right. They're only five up, six up, three up. Three up. Yeah. Second yeah, is and gone at this point. Two. Girls and Dress is going to make the cap here, and they're going to have full Uber, 40% advantage to be able to push in. This might be it. They're going to walk right in. It's going to be tough for fat boys. And I don't see a sentry or anything on last for fat boys, do you? No, no I. nothing. Just a tele entrance, but no exit anywhere. They gotta be moving. You'd like to see. They, they must be unaware of their Uber advantage because they're letting fat boys get to 100%, and now fat boys may be able to. Yeah, that advantage to is turn gone. Up. It looks yep. like they're both at 100 now. Due to the lack of time, it looks like he's actually using many sentries to defend the last point. I don't know how that's going to turn out. Looks like they're going for a river push. They pop on the demo yeah, through, river. through the river. I don't see the red. There's the red Uber on the heavy. They're getting air blasted. Heavy Ooh, the heavy gets out. taken down. No one to Uber with the scout. And oh, you gotta think this is gonna be only it. two up. They just got a spy spawn, but. Here we go. Here we go. Heavy's coming in. Medic's coming in. And that's There's the, the cap. Girls and dress look so tight that round. Yeah, I'm not talking about their bodies, I'm talking about... Oh. <laughs> I, I figured you were talking about both. <laughs> from the I... rollout to, to the mid-fight, everything after that. It was tied, it was together, what do you guys think? Absolutely. I there. I'm gonna see if I can watch the rollout this time. I'm watching Girls Address as Sniper. He's going under. I think he hits a body shot on the other Sniper. It would appear Fat Boys has the, uh, they ended up pushing a whole lot harder that time. They're pushing the point. They do, they do, and they've, they've basically won this midpoint. They just need to get on it. Ooh, the ambassador headshot on Red Sniper. There you go. Mid is clear, and they're taking the point. It looks like they're going to do a traditional heavy at Cho Cold. Unfortunately, it's only one person. Two people. Right now, it looks like the scout is staying with the cluster. That's interesting. And big door is just wide open. There's one blue sniper. If I choke, he's watching the big door for blue and red. Has no presence there. Bad boys have no presence in big door. Two peak, really aggressive, getting cleaned up by girls and dress. Looks like Fat Boy's spy is gonna try and get in through Big Door. Boys, we have this we have this stalemate, but Blue isn't even in the yard. There's one sniper out there. They're basically giving up the second point, but they're gonna drop in, it looks like. No no, they back out, they're only 50% Uber. Yeah, combo's backing out upper through river. Fat boys failed to uh, see the, the soldier up top. The force to pop on them. Time has been added. Yeah, Blue has like shutter sticked out. Can you get anyone with the trap though? Pushing into lobby, laying, pushing into lobby. In my experience, this is a uh, really hard spot to hold. He's right here, with him holding the lobby. the lobby itself. Yeah. Well, it looks like their cluster's gonna move up towards that uh, river entrance. Same place, sweep up. Oh, sweep up. Sweep up gets cleaned up. A nice shot from if I choke. And now girls and dress are gonna push out with the Uber. Purple Bears does not seem to know what to do here. He is running around like a headless chicken. And he gets picked right before he gets Uber. Those girls Uber and cardboard gets happen. stabbed. Bad boys gotta get the hell out of that chair. It's a good thing they managed to pick the medic though and get rid of the advantage that Blue would have had. Oh, I missed that. That's huge. That's huge. And he got stabbed by water. I believe it's a ringer. Uh, help. Not Dylan is getting behind right now. He's in red lobby. So he's oh, getting cut out by the other scout though. In. He's even getting kills. Oh, but he goes down to the heavy. Ooh, not Dylan winning a 1v1 behind the other team. Getting on the pyro and the medic. Now, 
last time we were in this spot just a minute ago, Girls in Dresses basically gave up the yard, and Fat Boys didn't know when to push and pop that uber too soon. This time, it looks like we got level three up on the uh, river entrance. They're, they're sticking together a whole lot better as well. Yeah, they are. They look a lot tighter, just like we saw that first round. We see the red demo getting caught out. I don't know if he's just lagging on my screen or is he lagging universally. Red demo? I Hot think deep. he's... I think he's lagging universally. So is Blue Scout a bit. Because he just wandered out and left that, uh... Blue Pyro game. But we got a push here. Hardneck bomb from the blue! Uh, Sully, he's able to clean up shop there! Holy cow, he gets Nicely everyone. done. The headshot Holy from the spy to clean up the sniper, down. too. Man! I mean, that's a traditional holding spot. And they were completely unaware of it. And Girls and Dresses are just gonna walk in. They're playing real nice. Absolutely. Traditional stuff, but they're doing it right. They're playing fundamental, playing tight. That was just a beautiful bomb. Who was that? Layla B Day. On Dylan's getting aggressive on the second point already. It's on the medic. Takes the medic down to 80 health, but he gets cleaned up. Uh, Layla's been taken down in the, uh, the big doors over there. Looks like Fat Boys is taking a big push into the double board. Yeah, we got girls addressed as they pop in. So they're gonna try to get forward with this Uber, but they basically got baited into it or wasted it because now Fat even Boys though they're taking up, the point, they lost their Uber. Fat Boys ended up pushing into the uh, the garage here, which it, it made it easier for girls and dresses to push up. Got uh Pockies. Sneaky trap here to Shutter. Let's see if he's able to pick anyone. Oh, they're backing away from Shutter. The girls in dresses are. Oh, there's they're a trap on the other river. side, and there goes Pocky's trap. Okay. And girls in dresses doing the same thing they did uh, last time they pushed this point. They're going river, it looks like. And they got about a 30, 25% Uber advantage. That heavy river presence. They just have one sniper holding the entire lobby. There they go. Got the fully over. Let's see. Fully sniper over. gets taken see down. Flash their way in here. It's time to go for them. They have about 50% advantage. They're not capitalizing on it. In fact, they're letting Purple go no. over, and he may be able to pop. He's gonna be able to pop. He's saving it nicely. Actually, yeah. He's saving it real yeah. nicely. They're Good milk. Pop. Good milk. It was fantastic for Purple Bear, but they did lose a lot of players to do it. Yeah, not fully worth the good milk See there. Sweep up's able to clean up shop here. He is. Oh man, I called that cap early. They uh, they held really well right there. That was Absolutely. beautiful from uh, Purple Bear. He was able to build it, and he just waited. Girls in dresses definitely hesitated way too long. Right. They there. waited too long. It looks like they were unaware of the uber advantage they had. And now Fat Boys are gonna push out. Always a tough thing to do when you're holding last. There, blue NG is caught out in water when he's last. Sweep up gets taken down and Sweep up, taken down that'll that definitely nice. delay the red push. Oh, but the blue heavy goes Ooh. down, 05 goes down to some spam. It's like... <laughs> Fat boys with numbers, but it's so tough to play aggressive. Big reflect blast. kill by Lang there on Blue Soldier. Yeah, and even though they have almost double the numbers for a moment there, they're just hesitant to get out, and you can understand why. What's the best oh. way to attack this uh, second point if you're defending your last point? Oh, five gets taken out by with a ambi headshot behind the line. Crazy. I think one of the best ways to uh, to weaken the the defense here is to get some flanks going up river, get somebody to go down below or possibly through uh, the top of lobby here. Get a kill or two. That's all it takes. We got the red medic. He's caught out here. No, actually, it's the blue pyro who's caught out. No five is going to lean in from lower lobby. And meanwhile, Red is back capping here. The fat boys are trying to back cap, but uh, Seki is able to deal with it. We 
we got uh, the red spy trying to make a play here on the blue medic. He's going for it. He's just trying to get those headshots. He, he gets him. him. Nice. He only get a second against him, but it was worth it. And he gets out of there. Cardboard goes down, and now, now you gotta think Fat Boys are gonna be able to finish this cap on second point. I think this is still anybody's game. Oh, the blue medic goes down, or the red medic, excuse me, Purple Bear gets sniped, it looks like. That's a couple great snipes we've seen from uh, If I Choke. Blue Scout is also AFK in a forward spawn right now. Well, that never helps. That never helps. Cardboard's got about a 10% Uber advantage. It could be basically negligible. Yeah, it's pretty much gone at this point. It's pretty even. Oh, you know, Purple Bear looks to be running Prince, actually. That's yeah, why he's charging he's a lot faster. Yep. Oh, he's yeah. Prince. So we'll see if they're able to pop this Chris. Meanwhile, it looks like Girls in Dress has lost the player. Is it that scout? It yeah, was. they lost the scout. Yeah. Who needs a scout? Chris they pop on the heavy through the choke. Sweep up, doing work, doing work. Gets a 4k there. That boy's gonna be able to take mid here. So. Good crits from sweep up there. That was beautiful. Turn the corner, pop. It. Oh, and then, then again. Ooh, the again, sniper. The bear is sniped by, um, by a fight choke. Now cardboard's sitting with 100% uber advantage. They're gonna have time to operate and figure out what they want to do here. If they're gonna pop in now or wait for a counter, it looks like. Oh, but, but cardboard drops it. to a stab. Oh no! You got the soldier up top. That is Layla. Layla the same place the same place same spot. Time. Yep, same There's spot. Pyro takes down sweep up. And I don't know where sweep up thought he was going there. He got stranded out by the rock. He had no medic, and he just kept walking, kept walking. Girls and dresses need to be pushing off of this. They do, they do, they have huge numbers. But you know, I think they're afraid of uh afraid of that sniper, I guess. There's a mini on, right man. around nipple. Blue spy goes in, gets cleaned up pretty easily though. Looks like Fat Boy's caught back up. Throw on mid holding. Purple Bears is still rocking the crits. He's just about cut the charge. Is, he's at 90%. Maybe Light Bolt is trying to get an aggressive see if he can force the pick first. Oh, Red's like coming through choke, go. yeah. They're just gonna go. It looks like they'll pop on sweep up or Pocky here. Actually, yet well, girls and dresses, they look like they're gonna hold up on uh, the uh, river entrance. What do you guys think about that holding spot defensively on the second point? I'd say it'd be, it's, you seem to be real vulnerable to jumpers. Well, and there they, is right now. And speak of the devil, then they get backstabbed as you were saying that, and then Mono comes in and is able to push them back. I don't think he got any picks there. Oh, and Water comes in and finishes off, gets another stab on uh, the blue heavy. Oh, Ooh, cardboard gets body shot and taken down. I think that spot would have been good to get away from the crits easier, but they just ended up getting cleaned up by something else. Meanwhile, Purple Bear, they were able to get in. Lost in the fray here, they were able to get in without having to use those crits. So Girls now they're going to be pushing the last here. point. I mean, spawns are just coming in. They still have huge number advantage, and they got pop this crits to get in now, you think. Yeah. yeah, and it's go. popped Here through the river. Red Spy getting healed by the medic. Cardboard gets cleaned up by the crits. Seki, the uh, girls in dresses demo was definitely holding them back at that point. And the combo's coming up underneath the point. They're going to be able to cap it here. That's the round. Just when you thought girls in dresses was too tight, too well organized, they lose a player and lose a round. Pocky roll out here. Boy, he's lagging a lot on my screen. He's lagging a lot for me, too. Yeah. That uh, can't let help. me check. Girls and dresses seems to all roll out through uh, double door there. 
Pokemon on his ping up north of them. Pocky's going choke. I don't know. Looks like he's not doing much with the flag. Girls and dresses, yeah, they made their way back to their own choke, it looks like. So they took the uh, banana up to their own choke, and that's what we were talking about pregame. You have that option. They're going to hold up their own choke a little more conservatively. But the product of that is they're going to win. They're going to win another bit. And Absolutely. They just, look tight. they just look well organized, you know? One moment they're going to Reg choke out of that big door rollout, the next they're coming to their own choke. And they've got a full advantage now. Also, Scout is back in for old dresses. Not Dylan got back on. Hopefully he stays on. Mono is They're up. Through big door. Almost got caught out in his own river. And 05 goes down to sweep up, but cost him his life. The Uber's popping. And Mono the the gets a force. Down. But it was a good Uber. Baki was some spam, that was nice. Got a couple picks, it looked like. The girls are going to take this point, and they're going to have about a 10-15% uber advantage. Yeah, Red NG and Soldier should be getting out of there to help defend. Oh, but they didn't cap yet. They didn't miss the cap, no. No. They've been held back by the uh, Mono. And his spam has been doing a lot of work. He's gonna fight the sniper, cleans him up. Fat boys should start pushing up if they can. But they're rocking crits on last right now. And there goes the jab. Uh, Layla pushing through river basically alone with an engineer support. Let's see how far uh, Layla's going. Oh, he's going, going under. Through. They run into Red's engine pyro. Takes down the pyro. He or she may be able to get all the way here. And there's no stickers on point. Got he gets point. caught Layla out by down. Mono in the mini yep. sentry. Poking seems to be uh, lagging all over my screen. Oh, yeah. Oh! Koichi Komeji with the stab on Purple Bear is right after the crit pop. Uber is popped. Girls and Dresses is in. I see classes going down left and right for uh, Fat Boys. I think this is it. That's it. Just a scout and river. He has a 200 ping, so that's the round. As soon as they get back to nine players, we saw that uh, tight machine from Girls and Dresses that, that we saw the first round. That was a nice cap. Fat Boys are rocking crits to mid. means they have to keep Purple Bear alive and almost play a little more conservative at this mid. Absolutely. Mono's getting aggressive on Blue Choke right now. But he gets caught out by he Seki. Goes down by 05. Girls Seki, Dresses yeah. definitely has the advantage on the rollout, especially since Layla seems to be running the whip. The difference right now is uh Fatboy's not running the whip and uh, Layla is. I it think Fatboy's are running the whip, they're just not using it. Or not using it as well. I mean, look at their cluster right now. As they roll into the second point, everything's tied, everything's organized. The yeah, girls' dresses are working together real well at this point. Getting yeah, even really aggressive in the lobby. Cardboard has Uber. And if he's gonna flash and stay tied together here, you know, there's gonna be nothing that bad boys can do. We got a scout going up to balcony, getting behind Nubish light bulb. Right. He's gonna start a back cap. Yeah, we got a back cap. Pyro comes out immediately with the medic. He's gonna be able to deal with it, looks like. Yep. Yeah, he wasn't a problem there. Medic! Well, we see the Uber. There it is. There it is. We're gonna Uber through. Let's see if Purple Bear can hold on to these crits. He's gonna have to. Yeah, he's hiding in spawn. Crits hold on to, but sweep up got swept he needs up. To pop on is the problem. It's like, ooh, oh, cardboard, cardboard gets headshot. Down. Girl's dress is definitely needs to be moving up right here. Fat boys, you mean? Or fat boys, yes. Fat boys, yes. They're yes. moving up. 
Layla is up on balcony. He's gonna get sandwiched on by fat boys. I wish I was sandwiched. Egg sandwich. Has been added. I love you too, baby. Purple bears drops Drop to a body drop shot. To the That's tough. That's definitely gonna hurt them right here. Absolutely. Now they're gonna have a 40-ish percent advantage yeah. on the blue side. Absolutely, they're just gonna walk in, dry push, and then they're gonna have that huge uber advantage. Yep. There goes second. Seki's going up to river with the soul. Sweep up, looks like he might get caught out by spam again. Here comes some heals for him. Girls in Dress is opting for another river push, it looks like. It does look that way. It's been working for him. Don't fix what ain't broke. And, uh, Fat Boys almost stubbornly sticking with that mini sentry on that last hold. That's that gotta be hurting them a bit. That yeah, doesn't seem to be working for them anyway here. No, it, well, and they know where the attack is coming from. You know, so it, even move the sentry. And the Uber's Once popped again, on Seki. Takes down a soldier. Oh, he's flashing that Uber nicely to keep everyone alive. When he's and there goes the point. That was great work from a uh, cardboard move that Uber around. The post round bottle. I'm gonna watch Layla this mid to see if we can get a good bomb. He's whooping up his teammates. Uh, Mono's as well as using the whip. Let's see who can get there first. I see Seki getting spam out already at Red Choke here. Bad oh, he's back! Bad Boys, Bad boys just gets Bad cleaned boys up. Bad Boys their own choke by, uh, by Seki and, and the uh, girls in dresses Pyro, level 3. Seki doing more work in second here. He's spamming out that damage. He is, he is. Almost he's catches out. He's getting another pick, I think, there on Ooh, tank. Layla Blank, flanked up me. through River into lobby and cleaned up the medic there. You know, it's like a broken record. They have 80% uber advantage and they just catch second. They're and able to push right in. Layla gets caught out in River by the Red Scout there. Any guesses where they'll push through? Looks like they're uh, going through lockers. Yeah, they they're, they're, they're gonna go through a uh, lobby, it looks like. The control point has been they might not even, no, nope, they don't even need to pop. Scout. It looks like I think he went through River and just able to cap, and that's half. That might be game, the GG's are called. The post round popped to pad the stats with Ubers. Yeah, can we not bring up sizzling stats? Can you guys bring up sizzling stats? I don't believe we can through source. Oh, no. uh, my life is so bad. It's kind of weird to see people outscore the medic. Uh, looks like the fat boys. Well, you know, look at the team that is that way, you know? It's the team that got beat pretty handedly. Definitely. That's probably part of their problem, not getting enough good heals and assists from that medic. They're, they're not staying tight for exactly for him to dole out the heals or not getting picks and yeah. Purple Bears well both medics got picked a good month good amount, but Purple Bears definitely got picked more. It seems. I mean we don't have stats though, unfortunately. Chess box with love. Welcome aboard, sir. Newest casting ever. It is. It is. That we are. I don't see anything wrong with that. Do you guys? No. No. I'm having fun. I'd say Layla definitely made a uh, a big carry there. Who who was your, who's your MVP? Was it Layla? I would say Layla. Layla. Or Seki. Seki did a lot, especially that last round. Oh, definitely. You know, I didn't see a lot of it. I'm looking at the points right now. Uh, Girls in Dress is Spy, Komeji. Two dominations, 71 points right now. Ooh, dang. He was doing work. Definitely. He got yeah. a couple picks I saw on Purple Bear. The, uh, yeah, I, I, think I, I think I caught a few of them, but... Uh, I would say one of the biggest things for Fat Boys was not being aggressive enough on this map. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Especially when they were defending last with crits, and they were all as far back as they could be. And they defending had an with crits and a mini sentry. Yeah, and they had advantage too. They should have been using the crit advantage to stop girls and girls from getting over and then take second and probably mid too. Uh, yeah, I remember that whole girls and dresses Ubered in, and uh, uh, Purple Bear did a great job not popping and staying alive, but then he just continued on not popping, you know, and you'd like to see that. And counter, then he dropped it, too, I think. Counter crits used, and then he drops, yeah. Hey, you know, I know he's near the bottom of the scoreboard, uh, but uh, if I choke the girls and dresses sniper... I thought had a great match too, a couple he, huge medics. He had some key picks, definitely. I didn't get a chance to watch him too much. So we're, uh, we're ragging on fat boys. What did you like from what you saw from them tonight? What did I like? What did you like from fat boys? trying to think of strong points that they had and I actually have some trouble finding um, strong points. They seem to have some good holds but they were a little too hesitant. Yeah, I, uh, you know, positive for, for Fat Boys for me was, uh, uh, you know, you're exactly right. The DM, I don't think the DM was the problem. I think it was the organized aggression. Yeah. The lack thereof. They couldn't capitalize on the DM when they had yeah. man advantages. Yeah. Yeah, there was a couple times we were just begging them to go forward, and, and you know, they'd have the numbers, they'd have the Uber advantage, and nothing. Nothing. And they just but stayed passive the entire get, or scrim. And like, girls and dresses. Girls and dresses had, like, an aggressive round, and then there was that one minute where they played passive instead. It worked really well. Adapting strategies always helps. It was, yes. uh, yes. was it the Fat Boys that went with the crits? Fat Boys yeah. went with crits first. Almost and entirely I, the last round or two. Yeah, the whole second half of that game, they went crits. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always one for a good, you know, curveball with the crits, but, you know, they just, they, they again, they were too passive. Yeah, I don't matter. think it worked to their advantage. It didn't. Especially since they were defense, uh, I'd say, majority of the game. Right, once you're holding that last point. You pretty much need a, Uber. Crits is a tough thing to have. But you know, again, even as we say that, they they um, they um were able to outlast that Uber push, and they didn't counter it right, you know? Right. Mm hmm So I'm looking at a scrim that is over, you guys. I think that's it. Yeah, absolutely. I see no second half a coming. Well, if you guys are online tomorrow evening, I am. I have plenty of free time, so. If you yes. Guys. Yes. Me too. So Let's that's all we need. Fucking, there will be more casting tomorrow. You heard it here first. Aw, uh, yeah. Galactic, will you be there? I believe so. What we need to do is we all need to keep practicing, doing solo matches by ourselves, doing two-man boosts, and doing three-man boosts, just like we've been doing the past couple days. So, uh... Yeah, that was, that was a real fun game.